Hello YouTube. What's going on guys? So uh, this is Shiv and uh, I have not recorded a video in a long long time. It has been six years since I did the video. So I'm back uh, and uh, this time I intend to record a lot of uh, tutorials. So in this series uh, we are going to do Linux command prompt. So uh, this is Ubuntu and uh, on Ubuntu Linux you have genome terminal which comes installed by default. So you can launch by typing that. You press Alt F2 which gives you run command and then you can type genome terminal which is part of my history and then you can launch this uh, genome terminal which is an interface to bash cell. Now you would ask uh, why should I learn command prompt uh, or why Linux is useful. So Linux is way more secure operating system. And uh, if you're a programmer, then uh, you would definitely encounter Linux uh, at some point of uh, time in your programming life, unless you are solely programming on .NET technologies, and then uh, you will stick to Windows. Now the real power is in command prompt. So this is an absolute beginner's guide. In this video, I'm going to uh, explore a few commands. So some of the basic commands are ls. So ls lists a directory. Then you got copy, which can copy a file or directory. You have got mv, which is used to move or rename. You have rm, which removes a file. You have mkdir, which creates a directory. So I'll be showing a lot of commands uh, which help you become a pro at uh, Linux. So we start with the uh, uh, ls. ls is a very simple command which lists files of a directory. Now, uh, one of the things which Linux has is a lot of documentation comes pre-installed for the commands. For example, man ls. Now this will list you all the possible uh, uh, options for uh, list. Now you see there are uh, two formats of this. One is a small switch that is uh, with a single minus a and one is the long form which is minus minus all. So uh, I'll go uh, with some of the options uh, which are important and uh, rest I will leave to you. So let's get started. Uh, man command shows the manual page once again to reiterate this is a manual page now so ls uh, if you type ls and hit enter and then it shows you the files and directories so these blue guys are directories white guys are files and uh, these purple ones are uh, media photos and images compressed ones are red now, how do you find out which is which? So there's a, there's a form called long listing, ls minus l. Now, if you see this, there is a lot of information here, which I'll slowly go into this. So um, the first uh, column tells you what type of file it is and what are the permissions associated with uh, that particular file or directory, all right? This is important because this is the owner, this column is the group, this is the directory size or file size, this is the last access uh, date or time, and this is uh, the uh, actual file name. I do not remember what this second column is about. Anyway, we'll find out. I'll tell you probably in the next video what the second column of uh, ls command is. Now, there are actually more files and directories than ls shows. In Linux, the uh, naming convention demands that uh, anything which starts with a dot is a hidden file or directory. For example, ls minus a, if you d do, then you will see a lot of uh, hidden files. For example, uh, Adobe has uh, created a dot Adobe, AnyDesk has dot AnyDesk, uh, CodeLide code light has created dot code light and uh, capstone has created dot capstone so there are a lot of dot uh, uh, directories for example firefox and thunderbird will create dot mozilla no will create dot employer and so on 
So it's uh, very important. For example, there'll be a WIMRC file or WIMINFO. So WIMINFO is there for VI editor. So ls minus a shows you all files, including hidden file and folders. Now, two are of particular interest. One is a dot and another is double dot. Dot means it is current directory and double dot refers to the parent directory of the current directory. On Ubuntu, you, your home directory is almost always slash home slash username slash is the directory path separator. Now we have seen ls, we have seen ls minus a and we have seen ls minus l. Now you can combine a and l. You can say ls space minus a l. That will be long listing with all. Okay. Uh, so uh, these uh, guys are uh, symbolic links. So the uh, I'll go into permissions later and file types later. We first explore the ls command. Now, if you want to show the long listing in reverse order of time, then you uh, your uh, sorting is ls space minus lrt, l for long listing, r for reverse, and t for sorting on the basis of time. So you see the newest files are at the bottom. Uh, this is the video which is getting recorded right now. Now, uh, to uh, repeat, if you want to sort on the basis of time, it is ls minus lt. So when it will sort, the newest will be at top. You give r to reverse it. Now, these uh, file sizes are not convenient to read. Okay, It is hard to read this. So there is a long listing form with human readable format. So this will tell you, you can combine it with RT. So this will tell that, okay, my video right now is 17 MB. So most of the directories will have 4K size unless it's a very big directory. M is for megabytes, K is for kilobytes, and G will be for gigabytes. Probably T for terabytes, I don't uh, remember because I have not seen a file of uh, terabyte size yet, single file of terabytes. Okay, so to repeat it, ls minus lrt h. Okay, now if you want to sort it by size, then you give ls minus l capital S. So now these are sorted by size. So the largest file is at the top. If you want to reverse, then you say ls minus lsr. R is for reversal of the uh, sorting order. So if you see man um, page of A, then it says, okay, A is for, uh, do not ignore entries starting with the dot, that is uh, show the hidden files. If you say minus capital A, then it does not show the dot and dot dot. And uh, author is not very important. Uh, the other important ones are, uh, which I have shown is uh, minus L, right? Minus L is use a long listing format. I have shown R. R is very important because it uh, controls the sorting order, uh, other than increasing order or decreasing order. So reverse, reverse order while sorting. There is a capital R, not very useful, but uh, we will go into this. I used minus capital S. So this is capital S, it shows largest first. Okay, now I'll show you some more uh, uh, important ones. Uh, for example, ls minus one. So what it does is it prints the file names and directories in uh, one column. It, it can be very useful when you're doing shell programming where you want to get the list of file names separated by new line. You can also say minus one A that will list the file names with the dot also. Let's see more important switches of ls command. Minus minus color is needed. Color is uh, here. So color is needed when uh, you don't have color enabled by default, but uh, in, on Ubuntu it is enabled by default. On most modern Linux systems, uh, it is enabled by default. Let's see uh, what would be more important. Uh, classify is not important on modern ones. Ah, so uh, this is important. Ls minus c. Now. Uh, 
c time is change time for example ls minus lc if we do then you see uh, and we sort it in reverse order then you see that uh, c time is different for all these for example the currently recorded videos is no longer at its time because these are access times these are not c times okay so now we see another uh, another option which is important uh, um, one of the most important ones is minus n okay what it does is ls minus uh, ln so you see this uh, user and this owner uh, we will go into uh, sorry user and group so this is the numeric id of user and this is the numeric id of group so once again, I'll show you uh, this. So you, you see, this is the user. You can get the entry in uh, etc password. So if you do cat etc password, I should be there with an ID thousand. Um, I am here. You see thousand. And if you want to see my group, uh, then it should be there. Uh, uh, I can actually grep that. Uh, you, we will see cat and grep commands later on. So yes, this is 1002. So these are the most common uh, uh, ls command options. To repeat uh, again, I'll go into those. Minus a tells you all the hidden file and directories. L gives you long listing. T sorts it by time. R reverses the sorting order. H gives you hum human readable format. N prints the UID and GID in numeric manner. Minus one prints it in one column. So that's quite a lot of switches we have covered about LS command. Let's see if there is uh, any more important one. Uh, um, okay, I I don't uh, I can be important, but that is for advanced uh, users and. Um, no, I have never used anything else mostly because uh, I think uh, that's it. Uh, I can show you ls minus l capital R, which lists the directory recursively. Um, I let me select a directory. So I'm in directory ls now. You can see my present working directory has become home shave ls. PWD gives you present working directory. So uh, let's say I can create another directory X, I create another directory Y, and uh, I create a file X slash X, and I create another uh, uh, file Y slash ZX and Y slash ZY. Now, if you want to do LS minus LR, then you see what happens is it uh, recursively uh, goes into all the directories and lists them. Uh, so minus L is for long listing. If you disable this, this is what is the output. So this me this tells you this is the current directory. Dot and colon is uh, an indicator uh, or a field separator. It shows you two directories here, which are here. And then in dot slash X, you have a file X. And in dot slash Y, you have two files Y. So that is... Uh, uh, the minus R capital R option. Um, let's see if there are more interesting ones. Uh, F can be interesting. And um, uh, huh. I don't think there is uh, any important you can read this uh, man file yourself, but I think that should cover the basics of ls command. Once you will become an advanced user, you will know how to use the read this man page and use it. But uh, I would say that the options which I have described will cover your 99% of day to day users of ls command. So I'll uh, end this video here and um, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, keep watching. Uh, there are more videos on the way. Thanks for watching the uh, video guys. Bye.